Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kilta Surprise. It's a part two. It's I. It's this is the only time I've ever converted directly a Let's Try into a series, but it's because I found out that this game, in its current state, only has about 20 days uh, worth of content in it. Apparently, I I'm not sure. And also, it seems like, you know, there could be a lot of fun in replaying, you know, kind of more like an auto chess, like a roguelike, yada, yada. Uh, so I figured, you know what, let's go back. The demand seemed good enough to uh, justify turning this into a two-parter. Uh, so this is effectively now a let's play instead of a let's try. Let's And, and I converted the first one. It, it, sorry for the over-explanation. I've just never, I've never done that before. I've always just been like, all right, let's try. If we start a series, it's a part one. So, if you missed the first part, the Let's Try was converted into a part one. Go watch that one. I felt like it didn't really make any sense to start over when it's only about 20, uh, 20 days long. So, alas, here we are with our crew. We got let, some new stuff. Holy moly. I, I did not pay enough attention to everything that was happening right at the end because I didn't expect to be back. You guys seem to really eat it up, and I'm, uh, I'm excited for it because I really enjoy, you know, auto chess style games and auto battlers and... Obviously, I enjoy roguelikes. Uh, so our new character is Solia, the Radiant Warrior. Radiant Warrior, you would think that kind of sounds like a, a very tanky unit, but it doesn't sound like that tanky of a unit by the descriptors here. Uh, let's see here. We've got the three Dragon Strike. First, okay, melee target three times fiery rage. Deals physical damage, uses her physical power. Then magical damage with the magical power. And then third strike is a combo and deals the damage type equal to the highest power value. Currently, she's a little bit closer to uh, a physical power spike there, but that doesn't mean we have to keep it that way. Now, when life total is below 50% of max, grant magic power. Uh, so Shadowhorn, she was a surprisingly beneficial unit once the Relic of the Cult is tapped in there. Uh, let's pop you out let's pop you in i want to i want to check out solia uh but i think that it would be best for us to well first of all uh it seems like a great call and we can put you in the front line now you're you're a, a totally decent front line fighter oh but oh but what if we did that instead and then we put you in that front you are a frontline fighter so <laughs> rufus is our frontline fighter obviously um, but the physical power, physical defense sounds interesting to me. We could obviously go for a two fur there. Three physical power, one physical defense. I feel like if we're going to go for anything, we might as well just slap it there. Some of her physical power, magic power. So yeah, it seems like we really should just be going kind of like a, kind of for a hybrid there. Uh, we'll keep our healing potion and we will move on out. What do you got? Oh, all right. I mean, that sounds amazing. Do we only get one of these or do we get both? What the hell? Tank armor. It's, it's just super good. Okay. Well, I'm going to pick this with the hopes that we get both. It doesn't quite tell us if we do or not. But alas, alas. We'll give it our, give it our go. Okay. So. Oh, you do not look like I thought you would. Interesting. So I think that you in the front, because you're pretty tanky, right? Physical defense, 32, 24. Yeah, you are tankier. Um, Going for something like temporarily. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Because these are both the units that have the when they die, they explode, basically. Funny enough, they also both have the, the stun chance there. Okay. Strikes a single range target. Uh, let's see. Overwhelms a single hero. All right. That's all good for me. Good enough, good enough, good enough. When life total is below... I mean, you know... Let's move them up a little bit. It shouldn't matter for this uh, this layout there. We can speed up the battle. That was something that we, we only did for a second in the uh, last episode. I just wanted to make it clear that that is very much something that can be done. All right. We'll heal up Solia there. If Americus or Rufus die, like, it is a bummer. But they will at least 
you know, nuke the other units. Shadowhorn, we kind of want under 50% health, so I'm not going to heal Shadow Shadowhorn. Hammer of Justice! So that's going to be a big stun, and we should be all good. Dang, that was easy. Damage dealt. Raw damage dealt. So Shadowhorn, I... Unless she gets under that 50%, it just doesn't seem like it's that worth it. Also, we should probably have her sit out here since the uh, her max HP is pretty pretty low from the curse. Weekly news has arrived. You start scrolling through the papers. Continental news. Uniting people one headline at a time. Issue 18. The source of the mysterious howls in the Metaphorist have been identified. A mutated hunger wolf was found with a nearby guild was dispatched to stop. The guild successfully dispatched of the species, sending the remains to the capital to study. An ancient site has been discovered in the Alma Mountains. The site has been identified to be at least 200 years old, possibly holding valuable items from ancient nations. Navaya, Navaya's Golden Age, herds of feathered pilos, pillows, I want to say pillow, have been migrating more frequently as of lately. Uh, the source for the sudden increase is unknown. Large herds might disturb the trading routes. The traders are advised to seek help with the guilds. Thank you for reading our news. See you again next week. Okay, so step one. Sit out Shadowhorn here. Is there anybody who is going to be wanting... Grants magical power. Heal for magical power. Each enemy is struck. By... You know what? Sure. That actually works just fine there. Works just fine there. Select quest. Do we have anybody who's like... Eh. Pick one. Each auto attack has a 25% chance of critting for a booty load. We do have the items to put on. Heals for 20% of damage dealt. Minus max health, minus physical defense, plus 9 physical power. Um... Could be kind of interesting on Solia here. Physical power up 40%. So that would only be good on... I mean, eh, maybe here. We only get one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick this, but uh, we're going to go to uh, put on our spear. Okay. Speed up. Speed up. Who do I want a speed up on? Does that help with their... Oops. Oops. Is that with their charge rate, by chance? I think it might. I think it might go up on their attack. Uh, you know what? Have at it. And... Just a huge benefit there. Magic power. Who does not care about their magic power? Um, 0.8 seconds? What does it go down to? Oh, we don't know. It should probably say, you know? Probably. Does this give you any other stats? It does not. I do like that ability, though. Alright, what is your physical defense? Magical defense? 24, 24. 30, 26. Who would I want to have an aggro down? What's your deal? So you're 22, 33. 21, 29, but also aggro down and also 20, 20 extra health. I'm going to be I'm going to be good with that. She's probably if since we have her in the pack, she's probably not going to go below 50% anyways. So I think that that probably makes sense here. Uh give a blessing to a single ally, permanently increasing their physical power. Creates a shield that absorbs damage. 150% of the summon. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. Alright. I'm going to turn on the speed up for now. Looking okay. If Evelia takes a little bit of damage, it's okay. She will go invisible. And then have no issues. So these guys clearly, like, their shield is... Is wild. 
All right, let's speed up again. This is looking like it's not even going to be close, though. We could probably... I think we can win this one with no heals. Though, Americus is... Oh, my God. Why am I... Why is he still in the... Why have I not had him sit out yet? Understand that... Solia. Solia. Holy moly. Physical ranged weapon. So, are they melee or ranged strictly depending on the weapon you give them? That's interesting. I never thought about that. I, I wonder... Here's one thing I don't know, though. What What's even the difference between uh, melee and ranged in this? Since the units don't have to move to get to their location, which is typically a core part of a, a an auto chess, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. One twenty health, one forty health. I think I'm gonna go with the one that's a little bit. Oh, perfect! Just in time. Also, like, look at that guy. These are some really cool characters. I love the character design here. All right, what's the what's your deal though? Uh, let's see. Creates a shield that absorbs damage. Amount of absorption is 150 percent of the sum of physical and magical defense. Magical power. Okay, so magical power is the only thing that goes down. Th that's perfect. I, as far as I can tell, he gains no benefit whatsoever from magical power. So, sounds good to me. Um, so, he has 41 and 30. Not, not, even, not even close. That item is busted, man. It's busted. Okay, magical power, physical power. So just very much a tanky, tanky, tanky thing. Pick one. 13 physical power. Oof. Didn't we get a... Yeah, we got this. Hmm. I kind of want to drop that on here. Get healed to full life on dealing killing blow. I mean, that's just... That's really good, too, though. That sounds good. Uh, we're going to need Rufus to sit out very soon, but next quest, we should be able to have Americus come back in. God, that guy's so cool. All right, what's happening? Moon like... Moon Elk ca cast... <laughs> wow. Cast a spell on a single hero, preventing their ability charge and the ability for activating. That's fine. Just uh, a magic damage nuke. Melee physical damage nuke. I, you know, that's all fine by me. I'm a little, cons I'm a little scared, a little concerned about how this might go. So far, so fine. Rufus being the one to take a lot of damage is not that big of a deal. Though he is not generating any of his charge, which is okay. There, I'm watching you, Rufus. I'm watching you. Don't worry, I got your back. I got your back. I know that I, I just maybe baited though. All looks good. Come on. All right. I'm not chancing it. D did that just get eaten? Or did I just use it at the perfect time? One of the two. Please tell me Rufus goes first. Come on. Yeah. Why did he heal zero? I must have done zero. That's the only way that would make any sense. Okay, so we got the execution, though. Why did I heal zero? Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Makes sense that the uh, new unit did not do very much. Velia ended up doing more than Solia again after switching the items. I gotta say, the Defender Scimitar seems like it makes a lot of sense for Velia, and then maybe we could swap those items. Tell me, boss. What's the deal with the fancy scrap metal? Doesn't it give you any creepy wipes? Doesn't breathe, doesn't eat, definitely doesn't. 
or have a hard time figuring out why you recruit anything like that emotionless crap. Raga units do not exhibit any unnecessary humanoid emotions. By Alka, where did you come from? From behind you. I see that. I have to admit, the simpleton here amuses me as much as it scares me. You know what I mean by that? I understand I come as a shady man myself, but at the very least I have my own motives and do not un act unprecedentedly. It'll all come back to us one day. I do not care a bit what happens to you, but I do not stand for those who stand in my way. Scanning completed. Simpleton detected. Adding you to the database. I really need a drink. You know, I gotta, I gotta give them credit where credit is due. There, it's... I often find dialogue in indie games to be, like, clearly some kind of afterthought. There's genuine, like, character. There's actual genuine character in the writing for this. And I, like, massive, massive credit there. Super good. Uh, all right, you sit out, Rufus. You come in. Dalton is only a rank one. I don't mess with no rank ones. Okay. So yeah, you got the stun item. Is there anything that has defense? Uh, there's that. Adds one extra defense. And I guess there's the swift spear now we can go for. All right, all right, all right. And there's this is super wasted on you. Sure. Okay. Looks good to me. Let's do it. Let's get it. Uh, whoa! 18 physical power minus 2 speed. What is this book? 40% magical power and 10% magical de uh, defense. Heals all allied units by 50 points if the wielder is incapacitated. That's interesting. I I'll, I'm going to go for that just because it, it's interesting. Melee target. With each auto attack, the minion becomes more volatile. When it is killed, the creature self-destructs, striking each unit on the field with magical power. Ooh, boy. Well, I wish we had our stun sun. Probably better. All right. That is a good stun there, though. Our, our front line is chunky, but when that guy explodes... Okay, we got him early. We got him early. Ready to heal. Americus. Americus. God, not even close, dude. Not even close. We've created a really tough team here. Challenge high roller completed. Deal over 100 points of damage in a single hit. That must have been on a crit. God dang, Velia. See, I just... Velia is just busted. We have three units that are not really damage dealers. A lot of times that can cause an issue in uh, in auto chess games, but clearly that's it's a, a valid thing right now. That was probably one of the least close fights we've had. Weekly news has arrived. Start scrolling through the papers. Kind of news. You know, people in at a time. Uh, issue 19. Cult of Vero has been more active lately, according to the Speaker of Law Enforcement. Julius Beeg. I'm going to say Beeg. Beeg wants to remind citizens that belonging to a cult is illegal and can lead to harsh punishment. World endowed. What the buzz? Scam likely. You know, nice that they're saying that. World endowed Tiara family is still missing their daughter. World renowned? Uh, the d family's daughter went missing after the daughter's supposed wedding. Large bounty has been set by the family to locate the daughter. Metaphors hits the news again this week with a new species. A new species has been found dwelling in the forest. Any new encounters with the species should be reported to the nearest guild immediately. Thank you for reading our news. See you again next week. All right. So who is hurting? Not really anybody. It's not really, not really uh, an issue. I 
I don't really want her physical power to be down. Hmm. Does this make it so... If they have this in their hand, they do magic damage with their attacks. Is that's what is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? That might be what's happening. I think that's what's happening. Okay, all right. Magical range weapon. That would that would make sense. So this is a weapon. physical power so if we put in shadow horn for example put in the book uh well hmm. magical defense where we got some magical power anywhere sure well, that way we can... Even more of a reason to keep Shadowhorn on low HP. I find it hard to believe that we're just ditching this, though, but... Forty-two, twenty-three. Oops. Forty-five, thirty-two. Oh, well, there you go. There you freaking go. And I think we might as well... Especially since you are you have a higher physical power, so you're probably gonna be using your physical power to do damage. I think. I don't know. As stated. I just I do not know. Mario wants to talk, Rufus wants to talk. Um hmm. Who is your Mario? Dalton. Rufus. You know what? I kinda want. I want to say Dalton. Let's let's upgrade Dalton so that I feel like I can justify using him again. Howdy, boss. Really hate these spirited discussions. Let's get this over with. Why'd you invite me here? I want to tell you that I've you've gained my respect. Look, it's not like I want you to think about it more than I when, <laughs> than what I said. Doesn't mean I trust you. Have been uh, does not mean I trust. You have just been upgraded from a useful fool to a somewhat noticeable ally. Let me tell you, it is not an easy promotion to get. That's it. You can go now. Whoosh. You've earned Dalton's respect. Dalton, rank up! Okay, so that takes up the entire uh, an entire slot of the day. Nice to see you, Guildmaster. Tell me, my master, have you heard about the report we've received yesterday? Apparently something new has surfaced about the monstrosity of a wolf we've encountered a few days back. I know, it was big because really, it was big because really, really hungry. <laughs> that theory is already disclosed, unfortunately. The real matter is far more serious. Uh, if the scholars are to be trusted, we could have something far more serious than an overgrown beast on our hands. Large amount of ooze that affected this unfortunate hunger wolf individual could have been related to the new creatures that have appeared. Seems that we have abominations on our hands. Large amount of con concentrate ooze, ooze, has been detected emerging from the metaphorist. Ooze being the magical power within all of us. It is believed that the sudden burst of ooze is the culprit behind this particular wolf's sudden mutation. Unfortunately, the amount of ooze that would cause such a strong effect in the wildlife can lead to some unwanted consequences. Timing, this time the consequences being those creatures that have been found in the forest recently. Ooze can create life, yes. There are, have been reports before that a large amount of uncontrollable ooze <laughs> has manifested into abominations. They're freaks of nature that compare to many, <laughs> in many unknown horrendous forms. I do not much know the subject, but from what I have heard, they lack all attributes of a soul. I advise that we approach the matter carefully. Hopefully the scope of the matter is limited to these meager alien pests. Take care, my master. I have faith in your guidance. Me too. All right, so, oh, that, that like, refreshed everybody. I'll admit I'm, I'm curious, and I want Dalton aboard now. Could probably take away a tank. Is everybody here ranked two? Oh, stinking Americus. You know what? You're fired, Americus. Oops. 
40, 33. 43. 30. Okay, so it's good enough for me. You can be our semi tank, Solia. And then we can find a better weapon, maybe? Physical power seven. Actually, I mean, it's not really like a, it's not a bad weapon or anything. So he's, he's decent as a hybrid. That's a rad magical ranged weapon. Um, we would want a good physical weapon. All right. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Heated situation, unfortunate position. I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? Just a bunch of explodey boys. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> kind of like that, actually. Yeah, I like that. All right. We got to be very, very careful with our, uh, our, our potions here. Oh, my God. It ate my potion. Is it because I was on fast speed and then I, like... What happened? Oh, no. It was just delayed. It was just delayed. Okay. 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 Oh, my God. Just the raw... Raw damage. Get wrecked. Da oh, Dalton! Dalton doing more than solely. I mean, it's probably because we stole his, uh, stole Dahlia's. Or wait, Solia's. Oh, stole Solia's weapon. How you doing, Guildmaster? Tell me, do you know anything about the messengers? Yep, as expected. Looking at me, you can see I'm a pretty big fan of their culture. Don't understand how humans and wildkins could be so mad at them. They're people too. A hundred years of hate is something dragons do. I think humans should be better at that in that regard. I think you don't hate them either. I respect that. Hopefully someday we could live in a world without grudges or hate. A world where humans, dragons, and everyone could forgive the age-old sins of others. Ha! But I'm a realist. No way that could happen. But I know there's still hope. Some people like you are really good-willed fellows. Here, take this. It's mine from the days I was still a proper dragon. Let it symbolize the bond you and me both have. Let's keep going, Guildmaster. Another great day awaits us. Hardened true dragon scale. Ooh! Whoa, baby. Okay, so 4033. You gave me garbage. You just posted cringe. Um it actually would be better on somebody who does not have high stats already. Who wants to be tent you know what? Thanks! <laughs> you can have it! <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. So that does do aggro up as well, though. What, what, what's that? 4033. 4330. Uh, we don't care about the magic power down. We do want the... We do like the aggro up, though. So you know what? I'm gonna say okay. Um... Also, 38, 30, 39, it is not worth the penalty to speed that we would take there. Uh, that would only be better on somebody who already has really high physical power stats, which is not really anybody. If, if this was something that like went on longer, it'd be a different story. Magical melee weapon, 25% chance for striking with 130 power value, which would be magical power. This seems pretty good. We already have one of those. Not to say we couldn't use a second one, but I am not going to use a second one. All right. No need to change that stuff. Uh, so Raga should be taking a little bit more 
focus damage, I would assume with that big threat up. However, his shield is chunky. Also, Shadowhorn having the 50% item is pretty much a, a nah. Nah. That shield, like, I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> so now Dalton did terribly. Velia and Solia did really well. Why did Dalton do bad? Is it because Dalton would do better against higher health enemies? That's that's something to note for sure. Hey there, big fella. Good morning, Miss Solia. No need to be so modest. <laughs> Rickus? <laughs> you know you can take a slack around me. Taking a slack is never appropriate for a lion guard. Oh yeah, you were one of them. Can you tell me more about that? If the dragon wishes so, then it is my honor. Lion guard is the main defense force in the honored kingdom of Arcanus and his king, Arcanus the fifth, fourteenth, <laughs> whom we serve without a doubt. In the lion guard, I held the rank of captain. My main duties were to command a border guard unit and between Ar Arcanus and the Republic. Ah, you were one of the big bosses. I respect that. Mm. Being recognized by a dragon is an honor. You ever try to aim higher? You sound like a guy who could have. I did not. Really, why? I prefer to stay someone who serves others. That's lame. Yes, it might be. <laughs> yes, yes, it might be. But I think it's best for the people who I swear to protect. Personally, I've never understood the whole concept of humans needing others to defend them and all that rank stuff. Everyone should be able to defend themselves. <laughs> that is also what I thought when I was your age. Ha, huh, nice joke, Captain. You know I'm a lot older than you. My respect towards you grows day by day, Miss Solia. Our day in love. Uh, I kind of like the idea. What are you at? 31. For real, okay. We do get a speed upgrade there, though. Fifty percent power, one hundred thirty percent power value, which with that would be really crazy. I, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I would imagine that uh, Dalton is going to slap for bosses. The start of the battle, each adjacent ally grants the wearer one physical defense and magical defense. That is, wow, that is interesting. Uh, whoa, that is crazy. Okay. 20%, 20% max health. Damage that would deal more than 25% of life total will always deal 25% instead. Huh. That would be interesting to put this right here. Oh my god, this right here would be really interesting to put on Rufus. Pick two. All right. Let's get it. I'm not adjusted for nothing. My crew is busted. Oh. Probably should have adjusted just in case. Some of them might only do damage to uh, units behind. Yeah, we got... You know, it's okay. If Shadowhorn takes a lot of damage, that's fine. We want Shadowhorn below 50% but not dead. Okay, we will heal Dalton, I would say, though. We're obviously gonna heal Raga. Okay, damage barrier going up. Good, good, good. The damage coming in should be lower. We may lose Dalton here. Good. That's a pretty good amount of damage there. Yeah, we may have uh, we may have put this in a pretty bad order for all I know. I'm gonna hold off on my heal. Ready at the trigger there. There we go. Raga's got a shield. We're all good. Dalton, once again. Solia. Hmm. 
Interdus thing. I'm definitely taking that. It's just too fascinating. Uh, <laughs> Maximum health down, physical defense down, heals 20% of damage dealt. See, this, these two things together seem like a, a way to make an interesting tank out of Rufus. My master, this is an emergency. We've just received an emergency report from the capital. A new and highly dangerous emergency abomination has been encountered nearby. The little pests we've just encountered have previously seemed to be originating from the single emergency mother individual. The implications are horrendous if this atrocity is left unmatched. Guildmaster, if we will not return, I want you to wish the best. I want to wish you the best in your future, and thank you for providing me this position amongst your ranks. However, no matter what kind of harbinger of end awaits us, I am most certain that your leadership will guide us toward the best possible path. Dispatch our men, let the glorious victory await the Guild of Kelta! For Kelta! Mm -hmm. I just want to do... I, it seems... It just seems like a really interesting combo. That being said, this seems really strong. This is a really strong thing to give to somebody who... You. Uh, what is it? 39, 20... Oh, it's a, range, it's a magical range weapon. It would convert us into that, though. So 25, 30... just doesn't matter though. If, if we're if, if it works the way I think it does then it just doesn't matter um, I think this is all fine I think this is all well and fine here we go in theory the final fight probably switch out Dalton but I just really want to see Dalton I want to see Dalton uh, do good damage against the big boss because the poison will actually last the whole fight or not the whole fight but you know all right what do you do revives any down at first the abomination revives any down minions but when sufficiently wounded it'll start casting inescapable doom a doomed hero will fall in 15 seconds. Oh boy. This is a uh, This is some darkest dungeon level stuff right there. All right. All right. End of days, end of days. The being of end. Oh, hell. Alright, come on, Rufus. You gotta heal yourself more than that, Rufus. He's got his ability now. I'm watching. Shadowhorn, we kind of want under half. Alright, alright, alright. So far, so fine. I'm watching you, Shadowhorn. Rufus is doing it. It's working perfectly. It's working perfectly. I'm watching. I'm watching. Shadowhorn is in pain. Oh, still under half. Holy moly. Fourth axis. This should have done a lot. Uh, 34. Uh-oh. 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 Hey. That's all we got. We got one left. Looking grim. Do not heal Shadowhorn. All right, here we go. This is what we've got, baby. The being of end. Somebody's going to get marked for death. Raga. Oh, my God. 15 seconds is a long time, though. I, I just realized that. We don't have... We just executed the boss. We just did executed the boss it just popped what scores based on the performance and battle quest bonus objectives completed and the day reached 
5,415,427. Congratulations on completing the existing chapters of Kilta. Thank you for playing, and please look forward to the future content updates during early access. So that, my friends, is why we made this a two-parter. Because we're basically, we're, we're basically done. Kilta by my true sound. So, lead programmer, Junis Mukinen. Program designer, Marco Pakinen. And the Axel Lindbergh. Oh my goodness. Look at all these wonderful, wonderful creatures. <laughs> all right. But alas, that's a, that is why I wanted to show that off here. So this is, it's kilted right now in early access. Uh, they are going to be adding a lot more in the future here. Dialogue scene. Oh, see, look at that. Three, only three of 17 challenges complete. One new. One new one. Nine new one. Ah, and there's all kinds of these. I see, I see. All right. So there's definitely, like, there's more ways to play what you got there. And obviously, you can get different dialogues. You can roll with different units. There is definitely two that I, you know, I, I'm not, I don't know how many uh, there are. But we definitely passed on two units. And you could obviously upgrade different ones, roll them in different ways. There's all of that. That uh, There is replayability here. I am just going to leave this at a two-parter for now. But I will say, if it gets updates, you may see me come back to Kilt in the future. I am a huge fan of uh, auto chess games, auto battler games. I'm obviously a huge fan of roguelikes. So we may come back in the future as it gets more stuff. Obviously, it needs, it needs to be... Uh, it needs to be longer or it needs to be harder. One of the two. Uh, because if that's like the average length of a run, you know, that's fine. But it was also, at no point did I break a, a sweat particularly. So that being said, there would, you know, there would need to be, there would need to be more and there's going to be more. It is early access. It is version 0.7.3 you see right there. Uh, go check out the Steam page with a link in the description if you're watching this in the future to see what is in the game now, what has been added. Uh, for now, I do say it is, it's a very good game, and I think that you should keep your eyes on it if you're a fan of these genres. And I think that if you like auto chess, if you like roguelikes, I think you could get some good value out of just playing through what is currently here already. Uh, with the kind of different aspects of relationships you could get with the kind of like Fire Emblem style uh, dialogue system. Uh, different types of builds go you could go for. I think that you could have a lot of fun with this, just playing around with what is currently here. But can't wait for there to be more. That's going to do it for today, though. Hey, if you like this channel, check it out. I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day. Put out three plus videos every single day. Trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It is a tight margin. I've been working on this channel for about nine years now doing uh, multiple videos to at least two plus videos every day for like nine years so if that is something you want to be a part of if you want to be a part of this community and learn about all kinds of cool new roguelike games make sure to subscribe and hey thank you for watching thank you thank you and i will see you next time bye